of the Artistic Nomads. And in a moment, Johnny will be joining me here so that we can continue with our Radically Reducing project. Now, today we're tackling bathroom personal care items. We took everything from the main bathroom that we use, plus the few things that we keep in the bathroom where we shower, and the few extra supplies or backup supplies we keep in the linen closet. That way, they're all in one place, we can sort them all at once, and be done with it. Actually, we just came back from a road trip, which is why you see toiletry and overnight bags here, because I haven't completely unpacked them yet. There's more stuff in here in addition to this. So I'm going to take everything out and fit as much of it can on the table at once, and then we're going to start sorting through it so you can see our process. Now we're going to actually get to the sorting part of dealing with our bath and personal care items. Um, this isn't bad. The first thing I want to deal with is medications. It looks like we have a lot here, but like most people, some of these are actually empty and some of them are very outdated. And besides that, we already have a bag that we've collected. These are all empty prescription, prescription and non-prescription bottles that we thought would be art. And they may still end up being art, just not by us. We'll donate them to some group that either wants little containers for organizing or to make little art projects out of. Or if you want them, or if you want them, <laughs> please leave a comment and um, we will get them to you some way, somehow. The one thing I want to say about medications is that you should never throw them away. You should contact the pharmacies in your area to see which ones will dispose of them properly because they are medical waste. They shouldn't be flushed down the toilet. They shouldn't be put in the garbage to end up in a landfill because they all have chemicals in them. So if your meds are expired, if it's a prescription you never don't take anymore, put it all together, call your, find out which pharmacy will accept it and take it them. They will dispose of it. Yeah, um, we tried one time and they said they had stopped the program, so you have to check your area and see what's going on. And see which ones still have it going. This would all fit in an RV. No. Yeah, it would. I don't want all this in an RV. <laughs> I don't want to have to pack three tubs worth of stuff. Three? Um, yeah, because some of the stuff was in the overnight bag, and then there was this big tub, and then there was the other thing. Yeah, it's a lot. It was a laundry basket, a, a tub, yes. and an overnight bag. Yes, and the tub was filled above the brim, so yes. if you evened it's everything out, three boxes, two tubs, whatever. Okay. So we're just going to go through the meds first as to which ones we're still using. And we still use this one. We still use this one on a daily basis. Yep. We use this one not on a daily basis, but on a regular basis. Um, this was only like one pill left. In my doll? Yeah. Yeah. We're trying not to say brand names. So. Oh, sorry. The um, pain reliever for monthly periods. So we have in the past bought big things of pills because it's cheaper to buy the bulk and then transfer them into the smaller bottle as the bottle gets empty. We're probably going to stop that going forward, but right now we still have multiple pill bottles of the same pills. Like these are all the exact same um, pain reliever generic from a store. Because what I usually do is take them from here and refill this. So I will try to consolidate them into smaller space. I think that's it for the over the counter. Oh well technically these are over the counter. Yeah the wall the yeah the those are sinus meds. So sinus meds and the visine I'm looking uh, for the experts. Sorry, I'm not supposed to say those things. So and the eye drops. Those are still good. Oops. Those should still be good. They have the, that's the unopened one that got sent back from Houston. March 2016. It's still good. Okay. It's eye drops. It's kind of like milk. It can go extend like a, a week after its kill date. December 14, but do you still need that? Um, that was when you were having the ear problems, right? So, or no, it was when you had that bad cough. Oh, or no, when I, I was 
Yeah, I was really sick and I was like, nope, that's done. Where's your trash box? I have a box over here. That's it's not trash because we'll have to sort things out. After we sort, we're going to have to sort that? Well, we'll have to sort into what's trash, what's going to the um, pharmacy to be disposed of properly, and what's like the art bottles. So that's, it'll just be three. Oh, this is, this is pain meds. But has it expired? 313. That says 218, but do you still need it? Um, no, because this was when I got that weird hair. Both of these is when I had that weird hair thing. This is, this is made out of beet. So if you ever have a weird hair thing, beet juice. And this is 213. So that's expired. Um, these are over the counters. I don't have bifocals, so I have to take my glasses off. I think that's poop medicine. This is. That's poop medicine. It says colace on it. This, I think, is another kind of decongestion. Yep. Yep, because it has the pheno, pheno whatever. Pheno, phenylephrine. Yeah, so these are all sinus meds that okay. we've gotten at various times. And unfortunately, once they're out of the box, yeah. oh, this one says it's good till 1216. This yeah. one does not have a date. No, 817. Okay. So all of these are science meds, even if they're different kinds. And this is the other thing, which is similar to this. Right? Oh, this, um, I don't need these anymore because this, this was to counteract uh, a side effect of something else that I was taking. Okay. I really sick, so I don't Wasn't that from your so surgery, though? No, no. This no. Is older. Okay. But this, yeah, um, I don't know if I still need that. You're about to have surgery. I don't know if I'm going to be taking that medication that much. Okay. It's one pill. Yeah. So we believe that these are leaves that we put this is a on it. in a smaller container. Because sometimes when you're traveling, you don't want to take the big thing, you take just a few. So those will get put back in there. All right. Less than an hour. We're still on this. Um, you're still on this, right? Um, yeah. Still on this. Uh, that's headache medicine. So we're still on it, right? Yeah. Or we still want it. It's, oh, wait. Is that not a date? It says 12.15. been that long since I went to meet. Yeah, I guess. This says February 16. No, that's the date it was, ex it was, that can't be it. No, that's the date it was issued. 12-16 yeah. is when this one expires, and down here on the left is where the expiration date is. Okay. So these are still good. Um, I still need that. That's a new prescription. Yep. That was when I had um this. Wait, are, is that is is that still good? I don't know. Cause that's um two twenty six sixteen. Yeah, and this is April twenty fifteen and this is June sixteen. Is that that's the oxy that's okay. okay. I don't know when we uh, turn into a pharmacy, but um, I know that we have less prescription medications than a lot of people, but for me, and I, I, I had a very unprescribed life for a long time, so to have even this many for me is like really traumatizing, and to see it laid out on the table, I'm like, ah, how did I turn into somebody who had to take a lot of medication? But really, only two of them are daily medication, and the rest are for when as needed. Right, right. Because when when I have higher pain levels, I need the the this is empty. The stronger pain medications. You said you were going to tell us how you deal with the empty bottles. Well, I did already. We oh, talked okay. about do keeping them as art projects or donating them. All right, all right, right. Um, this says it expired September of last year.
It says used before, that doesn't mean it's expired. Yes, used before, used by, that means it's expired. You have the other one, why do you need this one too? Wait, which one, where? You have the oxy. No, that's five megs, that's five megs, this is the 325 plus 10. All right. I'm gonna get prescribed new stuff anyway. I know, that's why I'm like, why are you holding on to stuff that's expired? When I get the new stuff, because I might need it. Okay. Oh, this was the cleansing lotion that you had to use. I don't need it anymore. That's just, okay, that we don't even deal with it right now. That's empty, actually. Empty? Yeah. That's your over-the-counter ear med. Oh. I think this is expired. I couldn't find a date. It's too small. This is 2012, so I think it is expired. Oh, this into, that's empty, I think. So this is trash? Um, I don't know if I go swimming again, which I plan to do in the next week or two. But as old as it is, shouldn't you get fresh? Oh, there water? it is. Oh, OK. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find that's it. That's my really old stuff for my fingers. This is my new stuff for my fingers. I think that's I mean, This fine. doesn't even have a lot that I can find. See, crimp of two for lot number and expiration date. May 2015, bye bye. October 2016. Yeah, I'm still using that though because yeah. it came back with a vengeance. But it's working. Okay, and then these guys? The oceans. That, that was, was still good. They, yeah, that was, was still for my um, sinus rings. I mean, this one you never even use. I know. Do we need to keep them in case? I'm going to ask um, our housemate if he needs them. Okay. Because he has issues right now. Okay. So I'll put them up there. All right. Then these are. This is our pill box that we're using. This is a pill box that I think somebody gave us. Yeah. And I don't like this style, so it will probably go to Goodwill. Okay. Or some donation place. This was housemate number one. Because we don't really need two of them. All right. These are the homeopathic remedies that we use. Yay. And they're all still in use. They're all still in use. I will actually give them a shout out because we love them. Yes. It's Kumba Made. They are herbal salves that you can get. It's a company in Tucson. They grow their own herbs, right? They well craft and grow their own herbs to make their salves. So it's all natural ingredients. Um, you can order them online. We find them in local stores. And it's K-U-U-M-A-D-E, Kumba. B. Uh, K-U-U-M-B-A, Kumba Made. And we have a variety of them. We have the healing, we have the joint support, the repetitive stress, the scar repair, and we use them regularly. So. Because being a cook, I used to get a lot of burns, and I have a lot of scars. And then this is some tiger balm that a friend that we love and adore brought us all the way from Thailand. All the way from Bangkok. And it is very useful on sore muscles and joints. Love the tiger balm. All right, now the other things we have are a couple of aromatherapy. I don't have the eucalyptus here. That's it right. must be in the other room. So we have like three bottles right now. We have lavender, eucalyptus, and peppermint. Or no, is that we, lavender? We, we have, have peppermint. Peppermint. This is actually an anointing oil, so. Oh, that's that letting go stuff, right? Yeah, and it's probably too old to keep the stage. Because they do, essential oils do turn. But we found that for headaches, the peppermint is really, really useful. And the eucalyptus is really, really good for when, you have, when you have sinuses or a cold. Yeah, eucalyptus is amazing for congestion. Lavender is great for headaches, too, as, long, as well as peppermint. It smells OK. Yeah, That's, that came from uh, Santa Fe. Yeah, so to help us let go. Mm -hmm. Probably, Probably, could. Could. <laughs> Probably could use that right now. Lately, we have been like saying the same thing at the same time ever since we started the road trip um, a few weeks, ago, a couple weeks ago. So it's been kind of interesting. What were you doing with this? Oh, it's just part of the over-the-counter meds that we are keeping. Oh, uh, you're facing out. The, oh, you're, you're, you're facing that out. 
sorry. You told me not to. I know. I'm trying. Okay, you have less than an hour. <sighs> These are the personal things we use daily. Toothbrushes, toothpaste, soaps. We have different body types and different allergies, so we use separate soaps instead of the same soap. This is old and trash. This is hand sanitizer for whenever we don't want to use soap. <laughs> um, this is your shampoo. Mm -hmm. This is my shampoo. Your travel, my travel shampoo, because we emptied the travel thing. And that's your cream. This is my shampoo that I have not used in over a year because I stopped using shampoo. Because I shave my head enough, often enough, that just water and occasionally using the same body soap. It's fine. I don't need to put all this hair product. So this is trash. Actually, mine is too because I'm doing the same thing. Oh, you've started that? Yeah. Okay. And I think that's really old shampoo. It like is. it's so old. And so is this. So. So we, we will. Go ahead. Empty those out. We will empty these out and put them back in our travel kit. I we can use them for lotion or something else yeah. so that um, they're useful. So you have your you have your hands hand I have, lotion. I have my body lotion. And I have my body lotion because um, my doctor said for what's going on with my hands, um, using a, using lotion that is not water based is healthier for me. Right. And then this is the soap that we have in the bathroom for hand washing versus um, this is a little baby sanitizer and I think that it's not good anymore because it's really it's liquid. Really. Yeah, I, is that the one that sat in the car and got melted? This one's kind of old too. It's pretty liquidy instead of me. Mm, it's all right. I wonder if hand sanitizers have expiration dates. I'm looking. I don't see any. This is citrus scent. Nope, that oh. does. It expired. 15. This expired longer than that. All right. Then we have some sample lotions and creams. Well, and I don't use that brand, so. That we got from various places like hotels or. Those came in a swag bag. Those? Uh -huh. Oh, that's why we have two of them. Yeah. And this is aloe vera. Oh yeah, is that is that going to be outdated? I don't know if aloe vera actually ever goes out of date. It doesn't have additional chemicals. It's a natural thing. Water, aloe, min mineral oil, lanolin, sorbitol. This has got a lot of stuff in it. Okay. But so we'll just put them all in here. It does not have a kill date. This is 79, 76. These ones that have never been opened, we can donate to like a homeless shelter. But some of these have been opened, so we'll see when I sort through this. Then my deodorant, your deodorant. This was lotion, so it's probably really old. And That's the cap right there. It'll get emptied out. Let's see, I see. Okay. It'll get emptied out like those other bottles. So we took this on our trip recently and we had the wrong cap on it so it got leaky and made moisture everywhere and it was really irritating every time we took it out of the bag. It's eyeglass cleaner. So now I found the right cap because we're sorting and that's the right cap so it won't leak anymore. So that's the eyeglass cleaner and there's mm -hmm. one of our eyeglass. But this bag. one doesn't fit. What do you get? Um, hotels. If you, if you travel at all, this is just an important tip. If you travel at all, even if you don't use the little vanity items that they provide, please take them home with you and donate them to a homeless shelter. Or sometimes, like, we have friends who periodically, co they collect stuff all year from multiple people, and then sort of like you do a toy drive, only it's a personal care drive with the toiletry items. So this is a shower cap and a vanity kit, and we have those lotions and you can donate them that way. And what they do is they put together personal care kits and they take them out to the homeless people on the streets. Right. And they don't just take them to homeless shelters. They actually give them directly to the people who need it. Or if you don't have the time to do that yourself or there's not a program, you can take them directly to the shelters and they'll yes. distribute them. Yes. So that's my threader floss and that's my floss. You did see that floss is no longer more thing. This is not the floss. No. What do you mean? Well, well, this is for my my bridge. Yes. Okay. This was my little travel toothbrush and travel 
toothpaste that I used to keep in my desk at work so that I could brush my teeth. I haven't worked in an office in years. Years and years and years. This is Johnny's shaver. These are my shavers. I'm gonna, um, yeah, take them out. I'll put them in a zip locker for them. So they take up. Because that's things. a lot of packaging. Yeah. I get very annoyed at all the packaging. There's a lot of packaging. All right. This is also from our travel, travel kit. Travel. It's the two soaps and the two toothpaste holders. So Toothbrush holders. They need to be cleaned from the trip because they're a little soapy. Even though we're eventually planning to live in an RV, there will still be overnight trips or we may park the RV somewhere oh. and go on a road trip. So we need hell yeah. We need overnight kits still, so we're gonna hold on hell to those. Yeah. Let's look at random stuff. Random so stuff. These are more little samples that I got of this is to take off makeup. This is for Oh, that's for surfaces. We can use that to clean surfaces. Oh. And this is for like washing your hands and face. I got them at the writer's conference. Oh, okay, okay. that's my right. swag. That's more swag. Swag! So swag is also good for donating to the homeless. Or swag is good for giving personal care to donate to the homeless. Yes. How's that sound? Yes. I thought that was very intelligent. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some days. But you know, this is probably scented, so yeah. you don't want to use Boo. it. Boo. All, All right. right. Let's do this. Yes. Let's so, do this. Oh. We shave heads. We buzz our heads. We shave heads. So in case we, you haven't noticed, we buzz our heads. Our we handling have, changes. We do it ourselves. So we have a, a, a clipper. Clippers we purchased. Best investment ever. I got tired of paying, you know, 15 bucks just to make their head short. Well, I had one when we got together and then it died and it we got a better one. Died. Where's the guard? I thought it was in there. Maybe it's in that. Let's see. Let's right see. there. I see red. Oh. Safety first with sharp blades. There and then this is also to clean it. Oh, yeah. And this is the little brush to clean it. And this is the brush for brushing off necks and foreheads. Yeah, we got we didn't get this with the kit. kit though. We bought we found it at some some other place. Cuz you know, um when I shave their head, um the hair goes everywhere and sticks to the body cuz we get sweaty. <laughs> and we may invest in getting a bib, a barber's bib. Really? At some point. I've looked at them in the past and I just Right. Yeah. Sometimes things don't fit back in the box very well. Well, the one thing didn't come in the box and you shoved it in there. So. You put it! It fits! They... You put it in the box. I was just fixing it all. I didn't realize it fit in the box. That's awesome. Alright, so our shaving kit. We definitely are keeping our shaving kit. So. I don't know if this tight pen is any good. Um, can we not do that? Let's get things in order. <laughs> you said random. It's random now. No, but to me, that's cleaning stuff. Okay. This is random combs that we never use. We right? need to put those in personal care kits. A mirror. Is this like a compact? That's mirror? a mirror. Can you open it? Yes. See? It's a mirror. It's a mirror. Probably Wait. came in swag. No, you know what? what? Well, these are useful. Like if we're doing like some weird artsy video or whatever, like. Oh, that's hard to open. For lighting? Then purposes. you can like do like weird, weird reflecting things. Okay, so yeah. that need to go in your camera kit? And that might, it? that might need to go with the camera gear. Yeah. Okay. Put it over here. All right. This is foot stuff. Foot stuff. Keep. Keep foot stuff. This is our thermometer. I hope it still works. Oh yeah, it does. Um, we don't have any of the thingies anymore though. Yeah, we do. I just saw them. The sleeves are here. The sleeves are in here. In there somewhere? Okay. Yeah. When we find the sleeves, I found them. I didn't know you wanted them out. All right. Then we have one, two, two pairs of tweezers. Um, really? Yep. There's my, there's my toenail cutters. I was looking for those the other day. That, that's a needle. That, yes, that's a needle. No, that's a little brush. For what? It's a little teeny tiny. It's a microscopic. It's well, it's not microscopic, but I have no idea. So we have a couple of emery boards. 
That one's really old. Those are still. We can probably keep those two. Yeah. A nail file. Two different size tweezers. That's good. Plus, there's. I didn't even get up. We have a. We have first aid kits in the car and in the bathroom, and we'll probably need to go through those. But yeah. we won't bother you with that. Just to make sure that everything outdated is gone. Measuring tape around your waist and your hips and your thighs, so you can check your body stuff. Well, originally that was a sewing one, but this is eyeglass repair, and that's what the magnifying glass for. Is it? Yeah, it's for dealing with that. Okay. That that needs to be clean. Yes. Oh, and I don't know why we have <laughs> scissors. I don't either. Where did where did all those come from? Okay, these came from two different first aid kits, so that when you're cutting gauze and stuff, uh, these actually may not be ours. Those are sewing scissors. Are you sure? I don't know. We'll I'll see if they're, they're, they're rusty. I know they may be somebody else's. Okay. Um, the mirror. Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. How often do we use it? I'm not going to address that right now. Okay. There was a reason we needed it. Yes, and then we didn't for a long time. But these are my backup glasses. Oh, wow. Those are, I remember those. Those are really nice. I like those. These are actually two prescriptions ago because the glasses that came between this and this broke. completely broke, broke, broke. So I don't know. Can I even see? Hey, I can actually read. And you can't read using them? No, I can read. It, it's giving me a headache. Yeah. But okay. But you know, if these died, I could wear those until I got new ones. So they're still good. So this is all keep. These are for ear flushing. Are yeah, ear flushing. Oh yeah. Both oh of yeah. Them? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. These are actually laundry cleaning. Okay, so let's, we'll do that when we do the few panels. That actually needs to be cleaned up, though. I'm not going to keep that as gross. How come these got so dirty and I didn't know about Because it? they were under the sink. They were under the sink? That one was under the sink because these are the brushes that we use for scrubbing uh, around the bathroom. Okay, so they need to be cleaned before they go back in. Okay, right. where are we at? Tick tock. Um, Hydro, hydrogen peroxide. This alcohol is actually expired. Oh, wait, a long time ago. Is there an expiration on that? Cotton balls. We had purchased this nice little set. Yeah go with our soap dish which is the same color and our toothbrush holder which is the same color but I don't think we're gonna hold on to them given where we're gonna be living these can just live in a bag it's much easier to get things out of a bag than to have to lift and close so these will be sent to Goodwill and yeah. it out and donated I don't know if hydrogen peroxide ever goes bad. There's no kill bait on it that I can see. It's probably brown on brown. Look. Okay. Right there, black on brown. Oh, oh, a long time ago. Okay. All right. Whoa, I just got dizzy. Okay, so we have many bandages. <laughs> I am a cook. I have a tendency to get injured. Oh, and keeping the cotton balls and keeping the... And so we have many, balls. many, many kinds of bandages. Some of these came out of our... our oh, these were these were given to us, these sponges. Right, the sterile pads. So, no, this is sponges. Or they're still... Okay, they're all right, sterile, sterile, sterile pads. pads. Okay, and then sterile glass pads. And then, I don't know, this looks really old and gross. So. It doesn't. It came, I think this came out of one of the um, first aid kits. This is stary, uh, This is um, uh, butterfly closures. This is why you have to go through your first aid kits every now and then. This says that it expired in 2002. 2002? Yes, expired in 2002. 2002? Yeah, it must be from a really previous one. Wow. So I'm just going to shove all these band-aids in here. So, so when we actually use? Yeah. 
So I, you know, I also have other various things that happen to me sometimes. So I have a plethora of different bandages. I don't have some of my favorite ones in here though. That's the only one in here. It's a butterfly. Yeah. Yeah, that's a butterfly. Also, I, I like to keep knuckle bandages because sometimes I cut my knuckles. These are those strips. Um, but that box will fit in that box, won't it? A friend of, no, I only have one. A friend of mine gave me band-aids. This box will fit in this box. No, 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 no. And then somebody else gave us a band-aid holder. We haven't even opened it. Do we want to give that away for a personal care? Or? Sure, that can be. It was probably swag at some event. Because that's how swag arrives. And it has the name of an urgent care on it. OK. All right. So these are travel band-aids. And these are actually not band-aids. Travel band-aids at all. No? Oh, is that the eye cup? So do you want to tell the story? I like to use eye cups whenever I get something in my eye or whenever I'm having really dry eye instead of using eye drops, which are chemicals. Um, and what happened? And what happened is I have had various ones of these over the years. This one disappeared. We looked all over. We couldn't find it. We couldn't find it. We couldn't find it. It was gone. I went online to look and discovered that you can't get glass eye cups like this anymore. You okay. can only buy plastic ones. You can buy a kit that comes with a wash that you're supposed to use the wash with the cup once or twice and then throw it out. And I'm like, that's the most insane thing. And then you found this, right? I, I was looking in the, in the cabinet the other day and I opened it and up in the far right hand corner there, I, I saw a Band-Aid box and I'm like, why is there a Band-Aid box? And I looked in it and it was the eye cup with these lenses. Yes, these are contact lenses from a long, long time ago when I used to wear contacts and they expired in 2010. Wow. So, okay. That's it. So um, now, we, do we do cotton balls and cotton balls and hair that are staying. There's our, our hair dryer. <laughs> we <to> donate. <laughs> I was going to say oh. we don't ever use for our hair, as you might tell from <laughs> the fact that our hair dries pretty fast. I use it sometimes to dry clothes. We use it to dry. It's good for art. It's good for drying art projects. There's art things you can do it's, with it. It's good for drying um, household repair things that need to dry. That's true. So this dryer, believe it or not, I believe I bought it when I went to college. It just means it's almost 30 years old. And it still works. And it still works. And it has multiple heats and multiple settings. So we're keeping this. We're keeping it here. As a tool, not as a hair dryer. <laughs> OK. Now, this is all feminine hygiene stuff. Personal product stuff. So we will sort that and not make you sit through it. <laughs> what, about all these, other, what about all these bags? OK. These bags came from when we bought our, oh, there's the covers for the thermometer. And more gauzy pads. And I don't know if those are. Those are just coupons. Leave okay. them in there. Right. We're not doing that on camera. No, no, no. I know. I'm finding up. You asked me the other. You asked me a while ago to make sure everything was out of here, and I didn't do such a good job. All right. Let me explain these. When you go and buy soap that is handmade soap from a local soap maker, which we do all the time, you usually put it in one of these little bags, and they weigh it at the register, and you pay per ounce. I kept some of these because when we travel, we have a tendency to take multiple little small bottles. Like I have this little tiny bottle of soap. And in order to fit them in one of these, you have to separate them from each other so they don't get stuck. And I would use a piece of this rather than plastic or something to separate them. So I think I will probably keep like one of these with that because that's what it's for and the rest of this can get recycled. I didn't realize so many of them had been yeah. accumulating. <laughs> there was oh. a lot in there. Wow, that's bathroom sort. Now, usually we keep these in the bathroom and I keep them in the overnight bag when we travel. It's the stain stick and the tie stain stick so that theoretically 
if we get a stain on the road, I'm, I'm, suppo I'm supposed to, like, you know, treat it, treat my stains right away. So that by the time we get home from our trip or when we get to a washer, it works. I'm sometimes not so good at that. I'm sometimes not so good at that. I got chocolate over myself that one time and didn't take care of it. But I think we decided we didn't really like this instant stain remover. I don't think it was so much. No. I think that one is really good. Yeah, and we've been using these for years, so we have to keep that. So I think that's it. We're going to, like I said, do this off camera so you're not bored by hearing about our feminine hygiene, hygiene protocols or products. <laughs> feminine hygiene products, really? <laughs> <laughs> or, or what we individually use for what? You don't well, need to know that. I don't have to anymore. Yes, but some of those are yours. I know. I I I am done having the need for these products. So I'm really ecstatic about that. Um, you are not. I am not. <laughs> so I'm not so happy about that. But you're getting there. Anyway, um, we're done. That's it for our bathroom sort. Unfortunately, we are keeping. It looks like uh, a lot a more. Bunch. But this box down here. I, don't know how much you can Here. see. I will take it in my okay. That's what we're going to give away. Or trash. And some of these things will be consolidated. So, yes. But I think, I think, it's a heavy one, so yes. It's, um, this is all going to fit even in a smallish RV. And it will fit where we're going to go live. We haven't told them. Right. Are we going to make a separate video? I guess. Okay. But the radically reducing still applies. We're going into a small, small space and we have limited places to keep things. Yeah. We are the Artistic Nomads. This is the Radically Reducing Project. Right. Which is our, you subscribe to our Radically Reducing channel to see more of our sorting and decluttering projects. That's it for our bathroom, toiletry, personal care sort, and we will see you on the road. Hi, I'm Dee Marie from Artistic Nomads, and we're in the middle of our radically reducing project still. <laughs> Today I'm standing in our office, which is where we do office-y things like keep our personal files and Johnny sits here when he's editing all these wonderful videos that you see on our channel.